guys welcome back with another video in this video i am going to review msm extender which is official previously i did a review of that rom which was unofficial and this is new build so let's get it started this is msm extender and here is the clock so i love it i'm using this one if you want to enable android 12 clock you guys can enable no problem so let's get it started with the settings so here is the you are best if you are trying you are already better than average so this is it and um, firstly we have customization option which is extension our customization hub huge kind of customizations and it will take so much time uh, to explain everything so I will try to show you guys the majority of the uh, options so without escaping watch till the end first of all let me show you about section of the phone and here is the extended the animation which is great and device of course redmi 7 and here is the model and android version of course 12 and here is the phone specification in shortly snapdragon 632 and 3gb of ram 32gb of storage this is it and here is the maintainer name technistor and really thanks to him and this is tribute to vladimir's so build it feb 18 and here is the february 5 security update so no problem with that everything is very latest currently used here uh, lineage os plus of course and no problem other things are okay here is the google and here is the system as usual language and input and you guys will get both files that means you guys will get uh, GFs build and non GFs that means vanilla build of the ROM. So I'm using here vanilla and I always recommend you guys to use vanilla build. And if you are facing problem with some kind of GFs, then you guys can go with the uh, GFs build. And if you know how to use proper GFs, then you're really good to go so that you guys can get uh, so much free RAM and um, unwanted borders or other things you can skip if you know which gfs is better for you and i always recommend nick gets core always use core core gfs which is very lighter so now we have here password and accounts safety and emergency and here is the privacy security as usual security we have here the security update of course i already talked about that and here is the fingerprint and i used two finger here here is the device admin and untrust agents app pinning other things and in next update of course we will get a face unlock and app lock other things so stay connected this is official build so don't worry about that and after that we have accessibility as usual you guys already know about that i don't want to waste time with that and here is the storage so as usual you guys can uh, check your storage here and notifications battery and of course i'm i'm really uh, pretty sure about battery backup no compromises you guys will get better better backup no issues with that and after that we have notification and app settings notification history this is android 12 feature you guys can check your recently used notification and all of the histories are available here and app settings you guys can customize according to your choice which notification you want and which not and just turn on and turn off and here is the display settings which is great and extra dim option i personally like that option really good and here is the font size display size is mouse to width and bold text and which i am using that's why all text are pretty much bold in look wise so rotation of course you guys can change uh, the angles 0 90 and 180 to 70 degrees you guys can enable no problem with that and a screen saver and 30 wake everything is working without any problem and we have sound as usual in every single customizations or every single options when you open uh, like sounds and other customizations you guys will get new animations here like this and we have all the necessary customizations as usual it's huge you guys can check yourself and after that we have connected device network and internet as usual location i don't want to waste time because everything is here extension now let's explore it here is the theme room ambient animations buttons gesture lock screen navigation notification so much things are there now let's start from the theme room here and you guys can use custom color no problem with that and dark theme wi-fi icons 
you guys can change everything i'm using here this icon and you guys can choose according to your choice no problem and after that we have signal icons whatever you need just select and it will be changed just a look here on the top so this is the way you guys can change and the user interface is really different and here is the font style and i'm using one uh, so many fonts are built in available and i'm using this one which is comic sans you guys can use any of this so no problem here is the icon shape you guys can change the so many icon shapes are there uh, according to your test you guys can choose and after that we have ambient music ticker edge lighting i'm using here to show all of this i don't need that so that's why show on aod i don't need that it will decrease battery life so custom color you guys can choose no problem and light view with view everything uh, animation here screen of animation which is crt i'm using power menu animation okay let me show you one um, the screen of animation okay let's see this is the animation and here you guys will get another animation in lock screen when i just input my pin code then it will appear here so let me show you that again the cross button and the arrow button will be available when i will input let me show you so this is the animation you guys will get every time so another great things and power menu animation power menu animation top glow turn slide fly 3d so many animation which is power menu animation let me show you just press and hold the power button so this is the animation it will come so after that we have animation style only flip and rotate of course and here is the uh, some new customizations we have animation duration which is previously we had low default and fast and now we have quite fast and super fast and uh, which i'm using super fast let me show you that just let me enable and which is super fast you guys can see and turn let me turn this off super fast so you guys can use uh, quite fast and other things and tiles animation which is over shot i'm using and after that we have buttons as usual i don't want to waste time here and music control you guys can enable and then we have gesture system gesture with aosp one-handed mode is working if you enable like this then you scroll down with the navigation peel button then you can use the uh, one-handed mode which is pretty handy feature and then we have brightness control lock screen status bar as usual and then we have lock screen and lock screen shortcuts and left default you guys can change and change here and pulse um, if you want music pulse uh, just um, instead of your navigation peel bar then enable that feature otherwise leave and render mode you guys can get solid line and fading blocks whatever you need while listening to music you guys will get that thing instead of navigation peel bar i don't need that i'm not using right now so after that we have ripple effect if you don't want ripple effect when you unlock your device then uh, if you don't want ripple effect then just turn this off and then we have the lock screen then navigation system navigation of course we have customizations you guys can customize your gesture bar length and haptic feedback if you want haptic feedback when you use back gesture then you guys can enable this haptic feedback and which is great no issues with that i checked and here is the pixel animation enable pixel style animation for three button navigation bar if you use three button navigation bar then you guys will uh, get pixel animation and then we have power menu as usual restart and advance option available and then we have quick settings very important settings show brightness slider show a brightness slider in the quick setting panel quick setting panel mean it like this this is the quick setting panel which is not full control center this is quick setting panel and we have brightness slider and i'm using here so this is the option and show brightness slider on bottom so brightness slider is in bottom this is the feature and show brightness slider in 
quick QS panel. This is the quick QS panel as the same things. And then we have adapt, uh, adaptive brightness button, of course, adaptive brightness button. And this is the adaptive brightness button. And you guys can uh, customize your QS columns in portrait for in portrait mode. You guys can uh, change your columns and in landscape mode. Of course, also you guys can change the columns and hide titles. If you want to um, hide the titles from uh, from that your toggle, then you guys can enable that hide titles. No problem. And then we have hide QS in secure lock screen hide QS in secure lock screen that means if you just this is your lock screen and you won't be able to show your control center this is impossible if you enable that feature and which is from MIUI and this is very important feature for other users some of users actually waiting for that and there this is really great feature I think and footer alerts and other things edit tiles icons and customize footer text i already changed and artwork media background if you need then set media artwork according to your choice and then we have a status bar at last system icons which you need you guys can enable and then of course date and clock you guys already know about that the traffic indicators which is working and i have no internet here that's why i can show you traffic indicator is working pretty fine and here is the status bar logo and i'm using here on the top le uh, left corner yes here you guys can see the extended logo here and of course you guys can change vo wi-fi override and of course vo wi-fi icons so many icons are there and other things as usual huge customizations are there and roaming an old mobile type if you need then you guys can enable these things which is pre p mobile type icons for signal reboot record of course if you enable that feature then you must reboot device and of course we have extra option which is gaming mode of course enable gaming mode dynamic mode and some extra features are there use game driver and other things no ringing and change according to your choice and this is also a gaming room you guys can do gaming without any problem just use if you want to play pubg mobile then use the module i already provided so uh, you guys will be able to get 60 fps always no problem with that and here i'm using the dolby atmos here is the dolby atmos and this is android 12 in android 12 dolby atmos is working very fine if you want to turn it off then click here and if you turn on then just click here and this is the Dolby Atmos I already provided video if you happen to watch and if you missed somehow then check description I will drop the link there so this is it and now let's talk about some basic things uh, like a screenshot I have taken here and I don't have internet right now so I already taken the screenshot here is the area snug this is the safety net checker and of course basic integrity and cities profile pass so you guys uh, don't worry you guys will be able to use banking applications and any secure application no problem with that and i already rooted my device with magix manager and i already showed you guys how to use those things and here is the dolby atmos i'm using so check description must and of course i missed uh, here this is the CPU throttling and CPU throttling a bit lower but I know and this is the uh, this is not the final result if I check right now then I will get um, minimum 15 to 16 percent better performance than the, this one because that was uh, in the uh, evening time and sunlight was very harsh actually the situation was harsh and hot so that's why it's performed like this it did perform so this is it and uh, no problem and don't go with that things and here is the kick bench score run which is really great actually these things are situation uh, controlled by situation 271 single multi-core and multi-core uh, single core is 271 which is great and multi-core also great without any problem you guys can use this rom for daily life if you want to use and ram management is really great i uh, i just kept all these things here and it's still it's here uh, I, I i kept it open in settings and it's still there and i opened it here it's still there and this is also this one and 
all those things. So this is the X smooth animation you guys already watched and this is really cool um, another next level things and here is the control center as usual which is pretty much different and uh, unlike other custom roms so this is really great things and if you want customization other customization theme like something and I already provided and to customization some uh, one or two videos maybe two videos already so you guys can check description for that don't miss so hope you guys understand and everything is working fine here no issues with that also gaming room performance everything you guys will get better here and of course home settings as usual lock layout if you want to icons and widget can be added removed and moved on the home screen if you want to lock then turn that on and here is the grid option you guys can change like this row and columns and here is the afterward rows and this is the columns and home screen quick launch icon you guys also can change this no problem with that and that's all hope you guys understand if you want to know anything then just let me know in the comment section below and if you like my work then of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel of course here is the split screen and free form so thank you for watching.